A talk box or talk box is an effects unit that allows musicians to modify the sound of a musical instrument. The effect can be used to shape the frequency content of the sound and to apply speech sounds onto a musical instrument, typically a synthesizer. Typically, a talk box directs sound from an instrument into the musician's mouth by means of plastic tube adjacent to their vocal microphone. The musician controls the modification of the instrument's sound by changing the shape of the mouth, vocalizing the instrument's output into a microphone. Overview A talk box is usually an effects pedal that sits on the floor and contains a speaker attached with an airtight connection to a plastic tube. However, it can come in other forms, including homemade, usually crude, versions, and higher quality custom made versions. The speaker is generally in the form of a compression driver, the sound generating part of a horn loudspeaker with the horn replaced by the tube connection. The box has connectors for the connection to the speaker output of an instrument amplifier and a connection to a normal instrument speaker. A foot-operated switch on the box directs the sound either to the talk box speaker or to the normal speaker. The switch is usually a push and push off type. The other end of the tube is taped to the side of a microphone extending enough to direct the reproduced sound in or near the performer's mouth. When activated, the sound from the amplifier is reproduced by the speaker in the talk box and directed through the tube into the performer's mouth. The shape of the mouth filters the sound, with the modified sound being picked up by the microphone. The shape of the mouth changes the harmonic content of the sound in the same way it affects the harmonic content generated by the vocal folds when speaking. The performer can vary the shape of the mouth and position of the tongue, changing the sound of the instrument being reproduced by the talk box speaker. The performer can mouth words, with the resulting effect sounding as though the instrument is speaking. This shaped sound exits the performer's mouth, and when it enters a microphone, an instrument voice hybrid is heard. The sound can be that of any musical instrument, but the effect is most commonly associated with the guitar. The rich harmonics of an electric guitar are shaped by the mouth, producing a sound very similar to voice, effectively allowing the guitar to appear to speak. History Equals singing guitar equals. In 1939, Alvin O'Reilly, amateur radio operator W6UK, used a carbon throat microphone wired in such a way as to modulate his electric steel guitar sound. The mic originally developed for military pilot communications, was placed on the throat of Ray's wife Luz King, who stood behind a curtain and mouthed the words, along with the guitar lines. The novel sounding combination was called singing guitar, and employed on stage and in the movie Jam Session, as a novelty attraction, but was not developed further. Ray also created a somewhat similar talking effect by manipulating the tone controls of his Fender electric guitar but the vocal effect was less pronounced. Equals Solnovax equals, another early voice effect using the same principle of the throat as a filter was the Solnovax. Instead of a throat microphone modulating a guitar signal, it used small loudspeakers attached to the performer's throat. It was used in films such as A Letter to Three Wives, Possessed, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, The Voice of Casey Jr. The Train in Dumbo and The Reluctant Dragon, the instruments in Rusty in Orchestraville, the piano in Sparky's Magic Piano, and the airplane in Wizard the Talking Airplane. The Solnovax was also used in many radio station IDs produced by PAMS of Dallas and Jam Creative Productions. Lucille Ball made one of her earliest film appearances during the 1930s in a path of copyright newsreel demonstrating the Solnovax. The Solnovax was commercialized by the Wright Solnovax Company an affiliate of the Free and Peters Advertising Agency. The Solnovax makes an even earlier appearance in the 1940 film You'll Find Out starring Kay Kaiser and his orchestra, Bela Lugosi, Boris Karloff, and Peter Law. Lugosi uses the Solnovax to portray the voice of a dead person during a seance. British rock band The Who included a cut on their album, The Who Sell Out, that consisted of the days of the week spoken by guitar chords using the Solnovax. These were in fact a standard set of Solnovax cuts sold by PAMS of Dallas. It also appears in use for a short time at the end of their Quadrophenia album in the rock track. Equals Talking Steel Guitar Equals Pete Drake, 
a Nashville mainstay on the pedal steel guitar, used a talk box on his 1964 album Forever, in what came to be called his talking steel guitar. The following year Gallant released three albums with the box, Pete Drake and his talking guitar, talking steel and singing strings, and talking steel guitar. Drake's device consisted of an 8-inch paper cone speaker driver attached to a funnel from which a clear tube brought the sound to the performer's mouth. It was only loud enough to be useful in the recording studio. Equals custom electronics talk box equals, the custom electronics device, the bag, was the first mass market talk box and was housed in a decorative bag slung over the shoulder like a wine bottle. It used a 30-watt driver and was released to the mass music market in early 1969, two years before Bob Hale's talk box became widely available. The bag is claimed to have been designed by Doug Forbes, who states that exactly the same concept had previously been patented as an artificial larynx. John Kay of Stepenelf used the custom electronics talk box in studio recordings and live performances beginning in 1969. On the album Stepenelf Live recorded in January 1970, the custom bag talk box can clearly be heard on the tracks from here to there eventually, Hey Lordy Mama, and Twisted. John Kay was observed using a custom electronics talk box on stage in Charlotte, North Carolina in June 1970 and at two shows in New Jersey in 1971. Stepenolf appeared on the live music TV shows The Midnight Special and Don Kirshner's Rock Concert and lead guitarist Bobby Cochran as well as John Kay used the custom bag. Two other early examples of a custom electronics talk box being used on studio recordings are Sly and the Family Stone Sex Machine from their album Stand. And Al Cooper with Shuggy Otis One Room Country Shack from their album Cooper Session, both released in 1969. The band Iron Butterfly used a talk box in the song Butterfly Blend from the album Metamorphosis in 1970. Alvin Lee used a talk box for the 10 years after song I Say Yeah from the album What in 1970. Young Holt Unlimited featured a talk box on their song Wah Wah Man, also released in 1970, on the album Born Again. Stevie Wonder first used a talk box on his album Music of My Mind in early 1972. Amazingly the Osmonds used a talk box on their 1972 track Hold Her Tight. The Crusaders featured a talk box on the album Southern Comfort in 1974, notably on the song Greasy Spoon. Jeff Beck used the custom bag talk box on She's A Woman from his 1975 release Blow by Blow, and was seen using it for the song on BBC television programme Five Faces of the Guitar in 1974 in which he also explains its use to the host of the show. Equals Hale High Powered Talk Box Equals, the first high powered talk box was developed by Bob Hale but there is clearly prior art in the form of the custom electronics device, the bag, referenced above. Hale came up with the first high powered talk box that could be reliable when used on high level rock stages. His first Hale talk box was built for Joe Walsh's Barnstorm Tour. Hale and Walsh both avid ham radio experimenters along with Walsh's guitar tech crinkle combined a 250-watt JBL driver and suitable high-pass filter which was used for Walsh's single Rocky Mountain Way. Walsh gives credit to Bill West, an electrical engineer, Nashville steel guitarist and first husband of country music legend Dottie West, for inventing the talk box for him in the May 2012 issue of Guitar World magazine. Pete Townshend, in his 2012 autobiography Who I Am, claimed to have invented a version of the talk box during a hoot tour of the USA in 1976. I built a speaker in a small box, attached a tube and put the tube in my mouth, allowing me to speak music. Townshend did not specify if his version was for guitar or only for music. In 1988, Hale sold the manufacturing rights to Dunlop Manufacturing, Inc which currently builds the Hale talk box to the exact standards that Hale designed in 1973. The 1974 hit single Tell Me Something Good, performed by Rufus and Cherka Khan and written by Stevie Wonder, which peaked at number 3 on the Billboard Hot 100, was among the earliest hits to use the guitar talk box. In an interview for the 1999 DVD Live in Detroit, Peter Frampton says he first heard the talk box in 1970 while sitting in on sessions for George Harrison's All Things Must Pass. 
while he sat next to Pete Drake in the album sessions at Abbey Road Studio, he heard Pete using it with a pedal steel guitar. Frampton said in the same interview that the sound it produced reminded him of an audio effect he loved listening to on Radio Luxembourg in the later 1960s. Frampton acquired one as a Christmas present from Bob Hale in 1974. It was a hand-built talk box in a fiberglass box using a 100-watt high-powered driver. This was the Hale talk box used for the Frampton Comes Alive tour and album. He then promptly locked himself away in a practice space for two weeks, and came out with some mastery of it. Due to the success of the albums Frampton and Frampton Comes Alive, and particularly the hit singles Do You Feel Like We Do, and Show Me The Way, Frampton has become somewhat synonymous with the talk box. Peter Frampton also now sells his own line of custom-designed Frampton products, including a talk box. In 1972 Todd Rundgren used a talk box on the album Something Anything. On the instrumental track, Breathless. Over a synthesized background his VCS3 synthesizer repeatedly sings the words I am so breathless, which can be taken as a reference to the talk box. In 1975, Nazareth lead singer Dan McAfee used a talk box in the popular single Hair of the Dog. In 1975, Aerosmith guitarist Joe Perry used a talk box in the band's highly popular single Sweet Emotion and Walk This Way, both off the album Toys in the Attic. He also used it in the theme song from the Spider Man 90s cartoon. In 1976, Steely Dan guitarist Dean Parks used a talk box during a solo in Haitian Divorce, on the album The Royal Scam. It was also used in a solo section of East St. Louis Toodaloo, on Steely Dan's 1974 album Pretzel Logic. Ronnie Montrose used a talk box on the title track from his 1976 album Jump On It. Also in 1976, the band Ruby used a talk box on the track Running Back To Me. David Gilmour of Pink Floyd used the talk box on Pigs from their 1977 Animals album, and on Keep Talking from 1994's The Division Bell. The band Stillwater used a talk box on their song Mindbender in 1977. Also from 1977, the Meters used one on their track Funkify Your Life. Roger Troutman, lead singer of the R&B group Zap, used the talk box on the group's first hit single in 1980. More bounced at the ounce, and in numerous other songs, including Tupac Shaka's California Love. Matthias Jabs, lead guitarist for Scorpions, has used the talk box in many of their songs, most notably the 1980s song The Zoo. Joe Walsh used a talk box in the song Space Age with Kids on the 1983 album You Bought It, You Name It, in I Broke My Leg on the 1985 album The Confessor and also in half of the time on the 1987 album Got Any Gum? Walsh, along with Don Felder, did a dual talk box guitar solo in the song Those Shoes from their 1979 album, The Long Run. The 1986 Daryl Hall hit Foolish Pride features the talk box played by English guitarist Richard Morcom. Bon Jovi guitarist Richie Sambora used the hail talk box in many of the band's songs, including 1986's Livin' on a Prayer from Slippery When Wet, 2000's It's My Life from Crush, 2002's Every Day from Bounce, 2007's We Got It Going On, and 2009's Bullet. Lead guitarist Slash of the hard rock band Guns N' Roses used a talk box in Anything Goes Off their album Appetite for Destruction, released in 1987, and in Dust and Bones, from their following record. Use Your Illusion I Ma Paragraphed Lee Cra One Quarter Ease Mick Mars used a talk box in Kickstart My Heart off their 1989 release, Dr. Feelgood. Brian May was asked in an interview whether the song Delilah was recorded using a talk box on Queen's 1991 innuendo record. May answered, Yes, I finally succumbed and used one. I suppose theory a Euro unregistered trademark s no other way to make the meow sounds, meow, meow. Meow. Tom Morello of Rage Against the Machine used a talk box on their song Wake Up in 1992. Bob Hartman, from Petra, used the talk box during the 1993 song Underneath the Blood, from their Wake Up Call album. Metallica used a talk box during the solo on the house Jack built, from the 1996 album Load. 
The Foo Fighters' Dave Grohl used to talk box during their song Generator off their 1999 release, There Is Nothing Left To Lose. His use of the device was partly inspired by Grohl's admiration of Peter Frampton and Joe Walsh. Dream Theater guitarist John Petrucci used the talk box for live performances of the song Home, from the band's 1999 album Metropolis.2, Scenes from a Memory. Avenged Sevenfold vocalist M. Shadows used a talk box in their song Lost Off their 2007 self-titled album, Avenged Sevenfold. In Godsmack's cover of the Joe Walsh song Rocky Mountain Way, frontman Sully Ernie used a talk box. Alice in Chains, Adam Jones of Tool, Slash, The Eagles, Chromio, plus dozens of other groups continue to keep the Hail talk box in their song sets. The talk box was used in Elton John's 1975 album Rock of the West Is, on the song Damn Dare, as played by Davy Johnston. Notable uses, Anything Goes, Guns N' Roses, Around the World, Daft Punk, The Ballad, Danny and Jean Todd Rundgren, Black Man, Stevie Wonder, Blacked Out World, Black Label Society, Bounce, Bon Jovi, California Love, Tupac, Bullet, Bon Jovi, Call Me Up. Chromio, Carly Euro Unregistered Trademark T Get This Stuff No More, Van Halen, Dan Dare, Elton John, Delilah, Queen, Dust N Bones, Guns N Roses, Do You Feel Like We Do, Peter Frampton, East St. Louis Toodaloo, Steely Dan, Every Day, Bon Jovi, Falling Into Grace, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Fire It Up, Black Label Society, Fools Fall. In Love 1966, Funkify Your Life. The Meters, Funky Crime, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Generator, Foo Fighters, Gorilla Radio, Rage Against the Machine, Hair of the Dog, Nazareth, Half Past Love in Wishbone Ash, Hyatian Divorce, Steely Dan, The Hole in My Wall, Warrant, The House Jack Built, Metallica I Can Make You Dance, Zap, It's My Life, Bon Jovi, Jambi, Tool, Keep Talking, Pink Floyd, Kickstart My Heart, Ma Paragraph Le Cra One Quarter E, Let's Groove, Earth, Wind and Fire, Live in a Hole, Pantra, Erase This, Lamb of God, Living on a Prayer, Bon Jovi, Monkey. On Your Back, Old Nova, More Bounce to the Ounce, Zap, Love Having You Around, Stevie Wonder, Man in the Box, Alice in Chains, Mind Bender, Stillwater, Money, Velvet Revolver, Money Maker, The Black Keys, Media Overkill. Scorpions, Night Drive, The All-American Rejects, Out of My Head, Daughtry, Pigs, Pink Floyd, Rest in Peace, Wishbone Ash, Rocky Mountain Way, Joe Walsh, Rotten Apple, Alice in Chains, She's a Woman, Jeff Beck, Show Me the Way, Peter Frampton, Soul Sucker, Ozzy Osbourne, Something's Got to Give, Beastie Boys, Sleeper, Snarky Puppy, So Rough, So Tough, Roger Troutman, Sweet Emotion, Aerosmith, Tell. Me Something Good, Rufus, This Is Love This Is Life, Bon Jovi, Those Shoes, Eagles, Under Attack, Abba, Wake Up, Rage Against the Machine, We Got It Going On, Bon Jovi, Beverly Hills, Weezer, The Zoo, Scorpions, I Want You Bach, The Piano Guys, Banana Bomb, Tip On Her Leather Whip, Falcon Jab, Ratatat, Neck Brace, Ratatat. See also, Auto-Tune. References. External links, National Talkbox Association's website, GF Works Talkbox Index, the Talkbox FAQ, the Effects Database Forum, the Bag, the Talkbox Will Never Die, a Talkbox Playlist.